Hey everybody, it's Kojak, and thank you for checking out this video. If you're having problems getting that power setting just right on final, then this is definitely for you. For this video, I flew seven approaches at different gross weights to determine engine RPM settings for a 19.2 AOA approach speed. I also used my 225 mils technique that I demonstrated in my 3 degree glide slope video. This table shows the results of four of those flights. The data other than target RPM setting is sourced from Appendix 8 of the F4-1. The aircraft was configured with empty pylons on the wings and a clean fuselage to provide a drag index consistent with recovering from a combat sortie with no stores. Here's the last 15 seconds of each flight with my commentary as I flew them. 82.5, 82. Uh, yeah, shifted my end point there. 82.5. Threshold, round out. Flare to the end, 10 degrees nose high. Settle. Unfortunately, I lost the video for this data set, so you'll just have to trust me. Watch it up to about 84 and a half. Shift to the captain's bars and to the end of the runway. And release some back pressure. There's the landing attitude. Okay, so 84. Round out. Flare. Heads up, I've got uh, nails. 11 o'clock. 84.5. I apologize for losing that second video, but the results are clear. From a near minimum fuel state to a near max gross weight for landing, the RPM spread is only 2%. There are two distinct takeaways from these test flights. First, once you are on speed and glide path on final, you only need to make extremely small throttle adjustments. And second, you know that 83 to 84% is going to get you very close for a useful target power setting. Try it out and let me know your results. In closing, thank you for showing your support by subscribing, commenting, and coming back for more. Fly safe and have fun.